Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Look around! Can you see things that can move on its own? How about things that cannot move? Look at this doll. Does it laugh, eat, and move on its own? How about you? Do you laugh? Can you eat and move on your own? Yes, but a doll cannot. Our lesson for today is about living and non-living things. In this topic, we will explore the following. What are living things? What are non-living things? And how do living and non-living things differ from each other? We can see and touch a lot of different things every day and everywhere. And you know what? We can group these usual things into two. Living things and non-living things. Now, I will show you pictures and we will describe them together. Are you ready to begin our lesson? Let's go! Look at this. Let's describe mommy and daddy. Can your mommy and daddy talk? Can they move? Do they need food? Were they also babies? before they grew into adults? If your answers are yes, you are correct! How about this one? This is a dog. Can dogs move? Do they also need food? Do dogs grow up? Yes, but can dogs talk? No, instead, they bark. How about this? This is a plant. Do plants move and talk? No, but do they grow? Yes, if plants grow, does that mean that they need food too? Plants do not eat, but they make their own food with sunlight, water, and air. They use this food in order to grow strong and healthy. The things that we described earlier are living things. That includes you and me. Living things can breathe, eat, grow, reproduce, and move, except for plants and a few animals. In order for living things to do this, they have to be provided with basic needs such as food, water, air, sunlight, and shelter. But some living things like plants cannot move, talk, or make their own sound. However, they can grow and reproduce. They absorb water and nutrients from the soil and get sunlight using their leaves in order to make their own food. Animals like dogs and cats cannot talk, but they do make their own sounds. 
They also have senses like sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. They can also move around like us. Animals also need to be provided with basic needs as well. We humans are also living things. We can breathe, talk, grow, and reproduce. We also have our senses. But what makes us different from other living things is our ability to think. Animals can also think, but the way we think is different from their way of thinking. This is what makes us capable of providing the needs of other living things. Are you a living thing? Yes! How about your siblings and parents? Yes! How about your pets? and plants yes great job now this time let's look at these pictures and describe them a toy car a television and an electric fan can these things move on their own do they also need food water air sunlight and shelter do they grow up and talk? If your answers are all no, you are correct. These things are called non-living things. Unlike living things, non-living things cannot move unless a person holds them and lets them move. They do not need food, water, shelter and sunlight to grow up lastly they do not breathe and talk a toy car can move because of battery television and electric fan can work because of electricity if a non-living thing gets broken it can be easily repaired or replaced try this is your bed a non-living thing? Yes. How about your book? Yes. Remember this, kids. Living things like humans, animals, and plants are very important because they cannot be easily replaced. Humans are a special kind of living things. We have the ability to think differently and we are able to provide the needs of other living things. We are also the reason why many non-living things are created, replaced, or repaired. We do these things in order to help our fellow humans as well as other living things to live better lives. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye, everyone!